One of my favorite features in all of Laravel are blade components. Simply said, a blade component allows you to create a custom HTML element and let that be rendered by a blade view. Now let's see that in action. As an example, I'm going to show you the blade view that renders this form. It is a simple form on my own personal blog where people can submit links to blog posts that they've written and that they think are interesting enough to share on my blog. So it's very simple. We just have a title URL and description field. Let's go to PHP Storm and see the blade view that renders this. So we are here in the create link view. And you can see that we extend a certain layout and that we have several includes here that include the partials of the form field. So if I take a look in this one, you see the HTML being rendered. Let's go back to the create view. And this is actually an old version of my blog written in a version of Laravel that doesn't support blade components. Let's switch to the master branch. And if I refresh, then you can see that those includes have been replaced by custom HTML elements. And to me, using these custom HTML elements feels much more natural than the blade include directive. You're not required to register these blade components if you use the default locations, but I have the habit of creating a blade component service provider where I register all my blade components. Because more often than not, I'll use a custom location for them. So here we say that that input field actually is backed by this blade view input field, which lives here, and it contains exactly the same HTML that you saw earlier. Now you might be tempted to only use blade components for smallish stuff. But if you have a keen eye, then you also saw that I have a blade component for a layout. Now before I let you see this in use, let's switch back to the old branch that doesn't have blade components. And if I go to the home view here, then you see what is to me now the old school way of doing it. You extend a certain layout, you have a section content where you render some content in and then you have the end section. So to me, this is quite verbose. Let's see how we can use blade components for layouts. So I'm going to check out the master branch again and refresh. And you can see that we don't have any blade directives anymore. We just have simple HTML and we use our blade component here. Now in that layout itself, you don't need to change much. So our app layout is backed by this view, front layouts app. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to app. And the only thing that is different here is that instead of yield, you use slot. Because slot renders everything that is between your custom HTML tags. In this case, x app layout and slash x app layout. And in this instance, I don't pass any parameters. But if I go to another view, show view, then you can see that we pass a title here. In this case, the title of the post. This is the view that renders the detail of a post on my blog. And that is all there is to it. I very much like the lightness that blade components bring to the table when using them for layouts.